Dear students, in this video we are going to discuss a question from the topic tangent to a circle. Here question is, in the given figure, AP and BP are tangents to the circle with center O. See the figure, AP and BP are tangents to the circle with center O. Given angle APB is 60 degree, this angle is given, angle APB is 60 degree. Then we have to calculate three angles here. First angle is angle AOB. This angle we have to calculate here. Angle AOB. Second we have to calculate angle OAB. OAB. For this we can join A and B like this. Then we have to calculate angle OAB this angle we have to calculate this angle OAB and third angle ACB this is angle ACB ok fine let us see the solution first of all let us take a quadrilateral AOBP in this quadrilateral AOBP angle P is given 60 degree OA is perpendicular on this tangent at this point of contact so this angle is 90 degree OAP is 90 degree because in any circle radius is always perpendicular to the tangent this angle OAB will be 90 degree correct radius is always perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact so similarly angle OAP will be 90 degree as well as angle OBP will be 90 degree because OB is also a radius which is perpendicular to the to this tangent BP at the point of contact B so in this quadrilateral AOBP if three angles are known, this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, this is 60 degree, we can find out this angle very easily because we know that in any quadrilateral sum of four angles is 360 degree. So we can do it very easily. Fine. So let us take quadrilateral A O B P. Correct? Here given given angle A angle APB this is cut to 60 degree OA is perpendicular on AP reason OA is radius and radius is always perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact so therefore angle OAP is equal to 90 degree similarly similarly OB is perpendicular on BP and therefore angle OBP is equal to 90 degree. So therefore, therefore angle AOB will be 360 degree minus sum of these three angles means angle APB plus angle angle OAP plus angle OBP why 360 degree because you know that sum of four angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degree so this angle will be 360 degree minus sum of other three angles we can write here this is 360 degree minus this angle is 60 degree plus 90 degree plus 90 degree so this is equal to 360 degree minus 240 degree and this is equal to 120 degree so therefore angle AOB is equal to 120 degree this is the answer of the first part angle AOB 120 degree now let us try to get angle O A B this angle O A B 
here you will take the triangle OAB. So, in triangle OAB, OA is equal to OB, OA is equal to OB, isn't it? Why? Radii of the same circle, OA is equal to OB, reason is radii of the same circle. So, therefore, angle OAB will be angle OBA. We know that in an isosceles triangle, angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So, these two sides are equal. So, naturally, opposite angles will be equal. So, therefore, angle OAB will be equal to angle OBA. Correct? And this angle is given here. We have already evaluated, sorry, not given, this is already evaluated. So, angle AOB is how much? 120 degree. So, we have evaluated here 120 degree. And in any triangle, we know that sum of three angles is 180 degree. So, angle O plus this angle plus this angle will be 180 degree. Correct? So, therefore, we can write angle AOB plus angle OAB plus angle OBA is equal to 180 degree. So, here we have to calculate angle OAB. Uh, we have already discussed that these two angles will be equal. So, we can write therefore Angle AOB is how much? We have evaluated 120 degree plus these two angles are equal. So, we can write twice of angle OAB is equal to 180 degree and therefore twice of angle OAB is equal to 180 minus 120 means 60 degree and therefore angle O. A B is equal to 60 degree by 2 is equal to 30 degree. So, this is the answer of second part. Correct? Now, let us see third part. Now, we have to calculate angle A C B. So, in this circle, on the same segment, angle A O B and angle A C B are formed. We can consider chord A B or you can take arc AC and in the same side of this chord central angle AOB and angle ACB on the point C here in the circumference of the circle these two angles are formed so we know that central angle is twice of the angle subtended same side at the circumference of the circle ok so therefore we can write angle AOB is equal to twice of angle ACB because angle AOB is a central angle, isn't it? So, this is twice of this angle ACB. Angle AOB has already been evaluated. This is 120 degree. So, 120 degree twice of angle ACB and therefore angle ACB is equal to 120 by 2. This is equal to 60 degree. So, this is the answer of the third part, angle ACP. Correct? So, questions are not difficult. These are very simple questions and interesting as well. So, please do some practice properly so that you could get proper command on this topic. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best.